One last time. One last time, bub. One last time. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Logan. So Logan is written and directed by James Mangle, who also directed The Wolverine. The film stars Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. And Logan takes place in a world where the utter mutants are now dead. But when a young girl known as X-23 tags along with Logan and Charles Xavier, it forces them to go out on the run when the corporate wants to take X-23. So Logan is a film that I was, of course, really, really excited excited for and I'm even wearing the Wolverine shirt just for this review because you know I love the Wolverine character with Hugh Jackman playing this character for 17 years as well as Patrick Stewart playing his character of Charles Xavier for 17 years I really want to see what James Mangold can do with this film especially because of how much I love the Wolverine I think the Wolverine is a fantastic comic book movie I love that film I think it's actually a pretty underrated comic book film Film. And I could definitely say that Logan ends Wolverine and Charles Xavier's legacy with a bang. This movie is fantastic. This is what you want to see in a comic book movie and more. Now, I know you're going to hear this from a lot of people, but this film is filmed in a way where it's not your typical superhero movie. And there's nothing wrong with a superhero movie being typical and all that because they could still turn out good but how this film is just shot how it's filmed where the storyline goes it, it just doesn't feel like a superhero movie it just feels like a very grounded human story with comic book elements here and there that's really the best way to describe logan it's a different kind of comic book movie where it's more focused on characters the action is definitely there with this film and i'll definitely get to that in a little bit but i just loved how focused this film was on the characters because that's what i was definitely expecting i really like that this film gives that western noir vibe you know logan professor x and x23 they're out somewhere in the mexican border which is a very interesting setting for this film and let me just say that this film is shot beautifully like oh my goodness the cinematography for logan is breathtaking this is how you do cinematography. I seriously think this has some of the best cinematography for a comic book movie. I could not take my eyes off of the cinematography because of how well shot it is. And it really does fit this atmosphere, this very dark and gritty atmosphere, because that's what this film is going for, just being purely dark. And it's very necessary because Charles Xavier and Logan, they have gone through a lot in life. And as you can see in this film, they're pretty much ready to just move on because there's not really anything to live for anymore. So obviously because of that, these characters are actually different than what you're used to seeing in the X-Men films. I thought Hugh Jackman did a fantastic job as Wolverine. This guy has been amazing in this role. And you could tell Hugh Jackman is so dedicated to this role. And man, does he go out with a bang. He is terrific. It is possibly the best performance he's given as this respective character. He really does give such an emotional performance performance every emotion he brings to this character you absolutely believe it and that's just thanks to Hugh Jackman to being just such a committed actor but of course Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier is fantastic here as well and he is just so great at being able to say the f-bombs without it coming off as a little weird. I could understand how some people may think that him throwing F-bombs left and right may be weird. And it's understandable to me why he throws a lot of F-bombs here because he is senile now. You know, you're not going to really get that wise Charles Xavier you're used to seeing in the other ones. Well, you know, the one that uses more proper language. So it's understandable. Now, if he wasn't senile and he was throwing out all his F-bombs, then that's where I would actually have an issue. But because he is senile, because he 
basically isn't the same person he was before. I can understand why he was throwing in all the F-bombs and he managed to make it work. But Patrick Stewart, just like with Hugh Jackman, he was able to bring that emotion to his character. And you could tell, just like with Hugh Jackman, he goes all out. I also have to say that Stephen Merchant's actually really good as Caliban. It's kind of interesting because he's known as this comedy guy. But to see him play this character was very interesting. And he looks pretty unrecognizable, honestly. Like, I couldn't really recognize that was Stephen Merchant in this film. But it was a different role for him to do, and he did a really good job here. But I have to say that Daphne Keene as X-23, man, she was so good in this film. And she doesn't really have to say a whole lot because you could tell how she's feeling just by looking at her face. And that's another thing I loved about Logan. I loved how sometimes the characters don't really have to say anything. You could just look through their facial expression on how they truly feel. You know, not only is the story riveting, but the action, even though this isn't your slam, bang, bang, action pack kind of film, when the action in Logan is there, it is awesome and the r rating because this is an r-rated film yeah it's definitely rated r for a reason because this film does not hold back on the violence it goes all out definitely not a film for kids so parents if you are taking your kids to see this just be cautious because Oh my goodness, this is a violent movie. Now, honestly, even if Logan was PG-13, I still think the action would have been great nonetheless. But it was honestly pretty unique to see an X-Men film have some gory action thrown in there. And it definitely works. I do think it works here though because of how grounded this film is how more serious and more depressing it is i think it does kind of fit that to kind of show the brutality of the characters of logan and x-23 the music in this film is also really great too it does fit well the film actually does have some humor as well not a whole lot but when it does try to add humor it is very proper and they use it at the right time and whenever it does go for the humor it never felt forced it felt very natural and i have to say I love the writing for this film. Like I said, I've just been saying the whole time how ground this film is, and that really is thanks to the writing of James Mangle, because he does write the story for this film. He came up with the story. As far as the screenplay, the screenplay is by Scott Frank, and it is also from Michael Green and James Mangold as well. Three writers that wrote the screenplay, and man, did they do such a great job of writing the dialogue for these characters, making the dialogue feel so believable and never comes off as forced. And not only is it thanks to the screenplay, but James Mangold, just like with the Wolverine, does a tremendous job of directing this film. He really makes you feel like you're in this very dark, brutal, depressing, atmosphere and it's just very impressive how different Logan is from the Wolverine but yet it never really distracts James Mangold from the kind of story he's telling you know Wolverine he made it its own movie and he does the same thing with Logan and that's huge credit to James Mangold and I just loved how much this film took its time with the story. Honestly, it's a slow burner, and I can understand how people could say it drags here and there. I totally understand that. For me personally, I was never bored once. From beginning to end, I was so sucked into Logan, and you know, this film does explore more into what the corporate is doing. I really don't want to spoil anything, but they do go more into the backstory of what the corporate is doing and why they want to get X-23. And I thought that was very, very compelling. It is quite hard to watch, but it was very compelling. And I was like, wow, they really took some risks in this film that I didn't really expect. And I appreciate them actually taking some risks. And of course, without spoiling anything, the ending was a great way to just end the legacy you know they really made it clear that this was Wolverine's final time as well as Xavier's and they really went all out I love the ending that was 
terrific. Now, as far as problems do go with Logan, I will say that here and there, the film is a little predictable. I was able to see where certain things were gonna go in this film. I also did think that the villains, notice how I didn't really mention the villains. That's because, yeah, they weren't really anything special to me. They weren't interesting villains. They are very, very forgettable. They were just your corporate people out to get this girl and that's really it. There wasn't anything special about these villains. Nothing about them really stood out in my personal opinion. And I will say that this film wasn't really as emotional as I thought it was gonna be. Like certainly I did get sad and when the film does get emotional, it's very well executed, but I didn't really feel like it was the gut-wrenching emotional film I thought it was gonna be. I didn't ball cry. I don't even think I really shed a tear when we got to the ending. Like with the monster calls and a dog's purpose, I bawled, cried with both of those films. Like really, really bawled, especially with the monster calls. With Logan, I didn't really get that, oh my God, I wanna cry. Of course I'm sad because this is the last time we see Wolverine and Xavier, but I didn't really feel it was that gut-wrenching emotional film I was hoping. But the emotional scenes, I still did find to be impactful. Overall, Logan is a fantastic movie. It's a great character piece. It's a great Western noir. It's a great comic book movie. It does change the game for this genre. It's really great to see Logan and Xavier one last time. I love how they explored Xavier and I love how they explored Logan in this film. X-23 is a complete badass. The performances are great. James Mangold did a tremendous job directing this film as well as writing the screenplay and the story for this film. The action scenes are awesome as hell. They're bloody, they're brutal, but they do serve purpose for the story. They're not just there to be grotesque. They actually do serve the story, which I really appreciated. So of course, I am gonna give Logan three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Logan. And let me know, what's your favorite film in the X-Men franchise? Does Logan happen to take that place? Or does another film in this franchise take that place for you? I'd be very, very interested to know. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.